Latin A level is a natural progression from GCSE, but because you can understand more complex and sophisticated grammar, you can read a, a wider range of more interesting and sophisticated authors. And there are some completely new things. Hi, I'm Emily. I studied biology and chemistry along with A-level Latin, and I'm now studying biochemistry at the University of Birmingham. Prose composition was one of my favorite parts of A-level Latin. At first, it was pretty daunting, but you steadily work on more challenging pieces, and in no time, you can translate whole paragraphs into stylish Latin. I found prose composition a really useful way to both practice new vocab, as well as revise old words and syntax. Another great thing about prose composition is that there is never only one way to say something, so you can be really creative and flexible with the vocab you learn. Hi, I'm Danon. I did English and drama along with my Latin, and after my gap year, I'm going to be studying English at University of Oxford. I really enjoyed learning about scansion during Latin A level, um, which is about how there is rhythm in um, Latin poetry. It's really useful for working out things like case, um, the flow of a sentence, um, and actually helps English poetry quite a lot. You get scansion in a lot of really nice poems, um, specifically also Ovid and Scenes, which is uh, translations that you do. Um, and this piece is from Camilla, um, which is a section in the Aeneid um, about this strong female warrior uh, incorporates elements of action and myth along with some scansion which really makes it pacey and brings it to life. Cicero's suspense speech for Milo is one of the prose texts I chose to study. The speech itself contains many compelling arguments along with some more dubious ones and effective persuasion as well as an exciting retelling of a supposed attack on Milo's carriage which is both fun to translate and a great to write about. You will never fall short of points to discuss when asked about any part of this text in an exam, since practically every sentence contains effective use of rhetoric, sometimes to an excessive degree. I found that the most effective way to both learn and analyze the text was to create PowerPoints, especially if they had funny photos to help me remember. One of the prose texts which I decided to study was that of Cupid and Psyche, which on the face of it is a really lovely story about love and the gods, but also has strong elements of deception, drama, and especially in this bit, gri gripping fantastical and mystical elements such as this giant snake. I really enjoyed seeing especially the complexity in these ancient stories. And then sometimes on a Friday afternoon as a treat, we play Scrabble. 